So we can adjust uh, the head to the body now. You can use a pencil to give some uh, counter pressure when you glue the head. I've assembled uh, all the remaining parts. This is the base of the mount. This is the upper part. And uh, all the, these parts they are all uh, basically uh, uh, tubes and, uh, and cones. So it's not uh, difficult to make. These are the tufts, also cone-shaped. Uh, I'll show you how to make a toe. First you have to uh, form it into shape by rolling it around the skewer. And then you can glue uh, both steps against each other. Nails are joined together only at the edge. And a little bit of glue here. Uh, before you join uh, these parts together, uh, you have to glue the base of the feet uh, at the top of the mount because you have to press it from the inside out and you have to glue it really uh, firmly because uh, all the weight of the owl rests on these parts and uh, when this cutting line here is uh, straight above this uh, dark line here then uh, all the wood patterns will match up nicely All the toes have a letter on the on the on the side, which indicate their position. And already I glued uh, the leg, one leg. And uh, it's important that the angle is not really 90 degrees, but more like 80 degrees, something like this. And I'll do the other one now. And the edges are at the uh, back side. I've seen from the front they are they are parallel. There's a small slot here and uh, you can push the tufts in. And maybe it's, uh, I think it's better to uh, do this before you glue the head to the body, so you can give some counter pressure from the inside out. I have decided I will cut this away. And uh, add a little wood glue uh, to the inside to make it more strong.
No, it's important that you really that it's really dried inside the glue inside the legs because now I notice it's a bit the paper is soft. It's not a good idea. Now I have to wait to dry till it's completely dried. I let it dry overnight, so now it's really solid. Patience is a good thing. So I can adjust it now to the uh, body. You really must use uh, quite a lot of glue uh, for this. And the owl face is a little bit forward. So it's not good if it's like this. You have to let it dry in this position. Maybe you can, uh, <coughs> when it's uh, drying, you can put something in here to fix uh, its position. So when you have uh, finished the model, then you can uh, put it somewhere in your house. I advise uh, to put it in a more darker area, in a high position, so it kind of looks down on you. I really hope you enjoy making it. If you have uh, any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for watching.